Okay, today we'll be looking at two diesel oil filters. The fleet guard on my left, number LF16035, that I opened up in a previous video. I got this on eBay for $18.99. And it'll be going against the Napa Platinum oil filter, number 47620. You can get this at Napa Auto Parts for $18.49. And these two are going to go at it. It could get rough, folks. And when the dust clears, we'll see who the winner is. So let's get started. Yeah, it looks like it has a so get a good, uh, good, nice and tight. Get your inner here. Filtration of 99 here. Okay, here's the Napa Platinum cut open. And let's see how much she weighs. 25.2 ounces. And the Fleet Guard weighs. 22.9 ounces Okay, a little bit lighter All right, let's check out the base plates What's the base plate weighs 7.3 ounces And the fleet guard weighs 6.8 ounces a little lighter And it has more holes that's probably why it weighs a little less Got about the same amount of grooves. Uh, maybe one more groove more on the Napa Platinum. Let's check this Napa Platinum out. It's got a rubber O-ring. It's, it's on there fairly good. It's a typical base plate. It's, it, you know, it looks nice. Looks well made. It looks like it's got a little more grooves than this one. Yeah. And the Napa's got six inlet holes, whereas the Fleet Guard's got eight inlet holes. And it also has a rubber O-ring gasket, nitro rubber. They fit about both the same. So these are pretty... They're identical except for the holes. This one's got a lot more holes. You know, the two extra holes you can see got to give it more more oil flow I would think oh okay and filter media I counted and it's got this plastic insert that goes here in between the base plate and the filter media this one's plastic and on the fleet guard it's rubber And I counted 46 pleats. They're nicely spaced. Nice metal crimp seam. Nice metal end caps. No excess glue. Filter media feels nice. And this is a synthetic filter media with a micron rating of 21. And let's look at the can. Look at the size of the spring. Uh, this is a jumbo. This is the spring for a Napa. And Napa Platinum spring. And this is the Fleet Guard spring. Wow, what a difference. Look at that. Goes right through the other one. Oh, except I got a hook there, but yeah. That. <laughs> yeah, that's a big spring. And it's got a big can. And this is a sticker, by the way. Also, made in USA. And let's check the thickness of this can point five this one's a little bit thinner the the fleet guard can is uh about point eight take a look at it anyway so let's see this is the fleet guard can and this is pr printed on
point seven. Yeah, it's point point seven point eight. Yeah. Both big cans. Like these guys are get they're so big they're flopping all over the place here, folks. <laughs> okay, let me get the weight on these cans. You got six point eight ounces for the Napa. 8.4 ounces for the fleet guard. See, it's a heavier can. Yet they, t they they stand about the same height. But, um, yeah, big difference in springs here. I couldn't believe that when I saw that. And, yeah, we'll put these all together afterwards. But this has got your holes, metal core with the holes. Whereas, see, this was open from a previous video, so you have here is metal core with louvers. This one also has nice end caps. But you know what? Let's cut this baby open. See how long she is, and uh, we can compare the filter medias, and um, and compare them both. See, we see, see how they look. Okay, be right back. Oh, and she gets some uh, measurements here too. Let's get some width measurements. Uh, these are big. It's hard working with these big filters. 5.15 pretty much pretty much identical 3.21 and 5.7 I believe the other one was 5.6 or something. Let me see. Yeah, 5.61. A little bit smaller, but not much. Okay. Well, let me cut this open and uh, I'll be right back and let's stretch them out. Okay, here they are all stretched out. And the Napa Platinum is 69 inches long. And the fleet guard is 71 and 3 quarter inches long. Wide out view. I cut a couple samples there. Okay, and here's the seams. And the big filter medias, you can't even get them both in the same shot here. But this one is a lot softer than this one. They both got wire backings, as you can see. This is from the Napa Platinum. It's a stiffer wire backing than the one from the Fleet Guard. This is a flimsier one. And the filter medias are totally different feeling, too. This one's got like a layer to it. This is the fleet guard. It's got layers. And the Napa Platinum is a very stiff filter. This, this is real strong stuff. This is stronger than the, the fleet guard one. And I don't know if I can get, there's any kind of layering on this. I think there is, but... I should have tried it ahead of time. See, so you can see it here. It, it's got it also. Yeah, they both do. But 
the platinum is a stronger filter. Yeah, this stuff doesn't even want to tear. That's how strong this. This is, this is wicked strong. Whereas, uh, the fleet guard. Even if I put, I'll try to put it all together here. See, it's not as strong. It's not as strong as this. Yeah. I think the filtration numbers are pretty, pretty close. But, um, definitely the Napa filter is, uh, with, even with a, it's got, plus it's got a wire backing. Uh, that's never going to tear on you. Uh, but the springs here, look at the size of the spring difference. That's wow. That's a humongous spring. Never seen something like that. Oh. Anyways, yeah, big springs. I should, I should weigh them, but the base plates here, they're, they're pretty identical except for the fleet guard's got more holes. So I would say you get more, more oil flow, I would guess. But, you know, who knows? And let's just weigh these little springs for the heck of it. I didn't weigh them. Let me get that on there. Balance this off here. Point five. Let me just put it on the grams. Oh, here. Let me see if I can get this squished down. There. Okay. 16 grams for the little one. <laughs> 43. Wow. Look at it. That's a lot. That's a big difference, huh? How about these guys? Okay. Fleet Guard's 128 grams. And the Napa, 119. A little bit lighter. It's probably because it's got the holes. Holes versus louvers. And the cans we already saw, the fleet fleet guard was heavier. You can make it stand up. 240 grams. 192 grams. The can's a lot thicker. Yeah, so I mean these are both well-made filters. Um I wouldn't have a problem running either one of these if I had a you know diesel engine that called for them. They're they're both well made. They cost pretty good too, so that you know they should be well made. So which one would you guys pick? <laughs> hey, I think I'll wrap this video up. If you like this video, please hit that like button. Thanks for watching and take care.